With as little as 10% wind electricity generation, electric utilities start turning off wind turbines to burn coal and nuclear. And solar has exactly the same issue. Well, why? Baseload coal and nuclear power plants are giant, very hot machines. They're designed to run full speed, about 85%, almost all the time. If they're turned off and on too many times, expansion and contraction causes cracks, leaks, and expensive repairs. They're not designed to change their output quickly, and because they're so expensive to build, they're not economic unless they're run full speed. Now, a picture of baseload power generation looks like this. Oh, well, it can vary a little bit over time, but it stays pretty constant. What does this have to do with renewable wind and solar? Well, one thing we know for sure about solar and wind is that they vary. If we draw a picture of wind and solar, it looks like this goes up and down. And of course, utilities must keep the lights on all the time, so variable wind and solar need backup. Well, you can't back up renewables with baseload power generation. It doesn't work. What we need are nimble power plants that can be quickly and economically turned on and off to match our variable solar and wind. Now these are called peaking generators and they typically burn natural gas. Though most of you probably get this idea by now, many monopoly electric companies are investing billions of dollars building new and upgrading baseload plants. Dollars you and I must pay back even if the plants are never used to their potential. The next minute of video provides more detail on this same point. On the grid, generation must always equal load. Generation, that's all the ways that we make electricity, and load, that's all the ways that we use electricity. If they're out of balance either way, the lights go out. Blackout makes sense to us if there's not enough generation. But when there's too much generation, the voltage goes up and utilities must take action or our lights would burn out. Now in the past, utilities balanced load and generation with a mix of static baseload and nimble peaking generators. If we draw a picture of a day's worth of electricity use of load, it would look like this. Baseload power plants fill into just below that 4 a.m. minimum of electricity load and our peaking power plants, of course, fill in for every hour of the day. Well, when we have wind and solar, the wind looks like this, actual wind generation, and the solar, actual solar data, well, that leaves no room for baseload power plants to fit in. Instead, of course, we have to have our nimble peaking power plants to match every hour of load with generation. To review, Baseload coal and nuclear can't be adjusted, that's called ramping, up or down quickly enough or set low enough to balance sun and wind. If we want a future with lots of renewables, utilities must plan now to shut down existing baseload coal and nuclear and stop all of their investments in baseload power plants. To learn a lot more about integrating lots of renewables, watch our three-part total 14-minute video by clicking on the Delve Deeper button.